Sir David Jason has made us laugh for decades, but did you know he once had his eyes set on Hollywood? Find out why the iconic Only Fools and Horses star blames Michael Caine and Jim Broadbent for his film career never taking off, and the haunting ghost of Del Boy that still follows him to this day. Sir David Jason, at 84, is still reflecting on a career filled with incredible highs and surprising disappointments. Known worldwide as the lovable Derek Del Boy Trotter from Only Fools and Horses, David recently opened up about why his Hollywood aspirations didn't pan out as he hoped. In his candid new memoir, This Time Next Year, David reveals he was once in the running for roles in two major 2023 films, The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry and The Great Escaper. But those dreams were dashed when the parts were ultimately given to fellow British legends Michael Caine and Jim Broadbent. The actor humorously shared that instead of seeing a collection of prestigious film roles to his name, his career highlights may resemble the contents of a box pulled out from under a table at a car boot sale. The sting of missing out is especially poignant for David, given that Jim Broadbent had once auditioned for the role of Del Boy, only to turn it down due to theater commitments. As fate would have it, years later, Jim would land the lead role in the unlikely pilgrimage of Harold Fry, while Michael Caine starred in The Great Escaper, portraying a Dunkirk veteran escaping a nursing home to attend commemorations in France, an opportunity David had also hoped for. In the memoir, David writes with a mix of humor and disappointment, I thought it was going to be me escaping from the care home and going to look for my Dunkirk chums. It's the hope that kills you. But it's not just Hollywood that eluded David. The actor recently spoke about the lingering presence of his only fools and horses character, Del Boy. While he cherishes the impact the role had on fans, he admits that it often overshadows his other work. In an interview on BBC Breakfast, David described how the ghost of Del Boy follows him, saying, That Derek Trotter thing, he's a bit of a ghost that comes along behind me like a Christmas carol. Despite a decades-long career filled with a variety of roles, David expressed frustration that most people only remember him as Del Boy. It only upsets me slightly because that seems to be the only thing that people remember me for, he said. I've done so many other things that everybody seems to have forgotten about. It's like I've only ever played Derek Trotter. David also revealed a lingering dream of his to perform on the stage of the National Theater. Although he acknowledges that time might not be on his side and jokes that his memory might need a bit of help, he remains optimistic about the possibility. Hey! Yes, National Theater, I'm available, he said, lightening the mood after discussing his regrets. Interestingly, despite feeling haunted by Del Boy, David hasn't entirely ruled out the idea of reprising the role. Earlier this year, he shared that he would love to return to Only Fools and Horses, but admitted that a reboot might be impossible without the show's original writer, John Sullivan, who passed away in 2011. David said, We would love to do it, but I don't think we could do another episode because the brains behind it, Mr. John Sullivan, is unfortunately no longer with us. And there you have it, a glimpse into the mind of Sir David Jason, a man who continues to entertain, reflect, and dream. What do you think of his Hollywood near misses and his thoughts on the ghost of Del Boy? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more celebrity stories. Thanks for watching!